For me, while I keep getting recordings sent to me from from North Korea or you know from from Bali or from you know for all these places around the world, and while I'm still able to keep connecting people that have recorded sounds on one side of the world with people that are potentially working with them musically on the other side of the world, then for me that's that's all the reward that this project needs. So the Obsolete Sounds project um, it has just launched and that is I think the world's biggest collection of obsolete and disappearing sounds. Um, so that really is about highlighting the fact that the sounds of the world are changing now more rapidly than they ever have done before but because I think sound is quite a poor relation compared to visuals you know we live in such a visually dominated culture sound is often kind of the poor relation and outside formal archives from things like libraries it's quite hard to find a way of preserving sounds that could that are already culturally significant or could become culturally significant. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.